It's a lot more comfortable in the cockpit than it is to travel as a passenger. <laughs> is it though? Is it? It must be. a bit be. more room. Yeah. yeah. And there's two E, is there? Yeah, there's yeah, two on Yeah, always, yeah. Right. And how, what do you do? Because uh, I've been on flights for th- over three hours and I haven't seen one member of the cockpit come out. You must have big bladders, do you? Is that one of the prerequisites? <laughs> is that one of the pre- What? You just don't get fed or watered. Oh, you don't get fed or watered. <laughs> but you do, because... Um, uh, Norman, you were saying that it's like, uh, you know, people think of it as a glamorous... It is a glamorous job, let's be honest. It is a glamorous job. You're like, you're jetting all over the place. I think there's a, there's a bit of a misconception there. I think, it, it, you know, people see films like Catch Me If You Can with Leonardo DiCaprio walking to an airport with 16 women beside him. And it doesn't happen that way, Norman, um, no? Well... The days are quite long, you know, and I, we, we, we always use, we, we eat our lunch on, on a quick turnaround, you know, maybe eat a quick sandwich and then you're gone again. It's yeah. not like what people think. And, and for instance, one of the lads who was meant to be here today, David, he's actually stuck in Norwich. Uh, uh, that, yeah, right, it's not glamorous. He was, he, was, he, was, he was stuck there last night and I got a text stuck message Stuck in Norwich. Him and he said, uh, he, he, he didn't expect to be there, so he's no overnight bag or anything. Right. So he sent me a text message last night, living the dream, dot, 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 eating pasta from a Tupperware box and the same jocks for tomorrow. <laughs> It's nearly so, poetic. <laughs> Fox not and quite, jokes. It's not always what people think it is. Yeah, we, we've loads of questions and comments coming in. We'll just take a quick commercial break. 083 400 102 for your text. We're talking to Carl, Sarah Louise and Norman, all pilots. The Ray Darcy Show. We're talking to the three pilots. Somebody says an orgy of pilots is the collective noun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Sarah Louise, is there a time when it dawns on you that you have the controls of this, this large piece of machinery and that there are how many people in the back and they're, you're responsible for their lives? Like, what, 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 your first flight, was that a, a daunting thing? Um, well, you're, you're very well with CityJet anyway. The very first flight, you actually have no passengers in the back. So right. that's, ah, that's easy. Nice. Yeah, it's yeah. only yourself. Ah, you, like, <laughs> absolutely, no problems at all. Um, but I suppose after that, yeah, your first flight with you know paying customers and everything like that. It's yeah, it's, I suppose it's a, it's a big deal. Um, I don't think I'd put like it wouldn't be scary. It's more exciting really yeah. because you've, you've spent your time training and everything. You know, you spent the year down in South Af- Africa first doing your initial training, and then you know you come in and you do all your ground training in the simulator and then you're sort of let loose and it's, it's more exciting than anything else. Really. I like, you know, when, when Jenny was pregnant with Kate, the gynecologist said, you know, it's um, pregnancy is like flying a plane. You only have problems taking off and landing. The middle bit is quite boring. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that is flying as well? Is the middle bit a bit, bit boring for you? Yeah, well, I certainly find the long flights very boring because the cruise the cruise phase can be, you know, very monotonous. You yeah. know, you're, 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 generally speaking, you're flying in quite straight lines, so you don't, need, you know, there's, there, there isn't even any turns. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when, when I think about going, you know, we, we leave Cork, uh, airspace over Cork and head towards Spain, you know, the, it's basically a straight, straight line, direct to somewhere. And in how the, much you know. actual flying do you do? Like, hands on controls? Um, we, we say, have a three, uh, say it's a Canaries, what's that? Four hours, is it? Four hours. Cork, yeah. Well, we would have the option to do all the flying ourselves. Yes. Um, we would, the other end of the spectrum is we would just take the aircraft off, so maybe fly it for the first 10, 15 seconds. And if the aircraft can land itself, um, we tend to do to land it ourselves just for a bit of practice and whatever you know um, or, or just but a, a plane can actually land itself mm. mm-hmm. absolutely you, look, I know you're not going to tell me but you must have the crack do you up there you know? <laughs> 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 yeah. you know that look man no hands <laughs> I know it's uh, it, the, the thing about it is it's, it's, it's great fun uh, flying you know but the, you know I think we all have a, a very uh, deep Deep rooted, sort of. Yeah, of uh, course, safety, safety. Yeah, exactly. That, that's that's built into us. But certainly, I mean, you, you can make the day short by by having by having a bit of fun. And what about do you get this image of you know cabin crew pilots? The pilots are the sort of the studs. You know, you're, you're away, staying in a hotel, a couple of jars, Norman. <laughs> I don't think it takes long for the novelty to wear off with the cabin crew and they realise that uh, most of us are just quite annoying. Actually. <laughs> most pilots are quite annoying. If somebody says, how do you know there's a pilot at, the, at a party? They'll tell you. Yeah, you've heard it before. Yeah. Uh, can you get somebody to do the official voice? Just the introduction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd be very good at it as well. I don't know if I would. I don't know. I'd be, you know, I'd, I think I'd be too casual. Really, yeah. I think what I like about pilots is there is there's a warmth, right? Mm-hmm. To their, but yet you you sort of feel confident that they're in charge. Like a doctor. Yeah, you yeah you, you you do equate to doctors. Sort of a god thing there, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> is there? Um, wait, like, what do you think of your man Sully who uh, put the jet down the Hudson? 
Would he be a hero now, pilots? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I think they, they, they kind of, after the bird strike happened, they had everything going for them and that they were landing downstream on the river and, you know, all, all these sort of things. But I have to say, see that? See, yeah, it's really <laughs> yeah, 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 fair enough. But uh, you had everything going for them, you know. After, you know easy after <laughs> that. To, 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 to land an aircraft on a river now is pretty uh, yeah. impressive. Uh, ask them, what is the worst airport to fly into and why? Well, I, uh, well. Who? Anybody? No. Maybe, maybe uh, just airports with bad ground handling. I think you know our, our problems start when we actually get on the ground. Right. To, so you know, but it's not about surrounded by mountains or near a sea or anything like that. No. No. I mean, in CityJet, we have the the joy of flying into London City Airport, which is bang in the middle of it. And I think every pilot would would, would like to to have a have a have a crack at landing in there because it's a, it's a, it's a lovely, visually aesthetically nice runway to land on and whatnot. But uh, oh, that, to me, that's probably the best one that we go into. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a challenge yeah, as well. And there's 29-year-old factory worker, always wants to be a pilot, no leave and cert. What chance do I have to that person? Um, do you have to have completed your leave and cert to become a pilot? Uh, no, we, no. We, we we certainly have several people that don't. It, 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 you know, we, 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 t- we, we look at every application. You know, so Individually. Yeah. Is it true that uh, the two uh, pilots in the cockpit can't have the same meal in case there's food poisoning? Is that true? It's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's said that, but I think it's it's more of a it's more of an issue. I think on on long haul flights where if um, a problem arose, you know, it, it, yeah, we we might have a small. You couldn't have the two e in the loo at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you ever get nervous, or is it just it's just your job now? No, no, no. Terry no. says no, no nerves, no nerves. Um, this is the best one. Do you ever get asked this at parties? <laughs> like, how did they stay up? <laughs> <laughs> how did the plane stay up? You know how well. It's the, oh, the coefficient of lift. <laughs> there you go, the coefficient of lift. <laughs> um, I, there's a few more questions there, and if, if there's any ones, we, we won't let you go without answering them if there's any particular ones. But for the, for the moment, um, uh, thank you very much uh, to Carl, Sarah Louise and Norman, and thanks to uh, the people at CityJet for letting you come in here today, although you're on, on time off. <laughs> uh, you did mention about uh, letting one of our listeners into your uh, simulator. Absolutely. We've By the reaction we've got to you, I think that's something that some of our listeners would like to do. Thanks very much. We're heading towards news at uh, 10. Uh, 8 is the first number. Listen out for number number 2.